So just on Whitechapel Road, uh, so I'm going to show you where John Pizer lived, AK Leather Apron. Now, he kind of come under sus suspicion after the Annie Chapman murder when um, a leather apron was found next to a body. Well, with him being a, a Jewish shoemaker, a Wall's Wall leather apron, uh, the spotlight kind of fell on him. And for a short time, uh, he would have been lynched. But it turns out he had an absolute cast alibi. Cast alibi. Uh, so before he was cleared, a lot of the, the prostitutes were kind of pointing the finger at him, saying he was abusive and threatening. And uh, So he lived at 22 Mulberry Street. So I'll take you to uh, where he lived. I've got a book coming out and so it's called There's Something About Whitechapel and one of the chapters I think is called Whitechapel Home of Suspects, Lunatics and a Leather Apron. So his house is just off Whitechapel Road and it's that next right. And as I said, I think I've been saying it all week. I wonder, I don't suppose, do you know what? I was gonna say, I wonder whether people are aware of the history regarding these streets and, but do you know what? I don't think many people would even care. A lot of them don't even speak English. Uh, so this is Mulberry Street. This is where John Pies. So John Pizer was cleared in the end, and I can't think of the top of the number what he was given, but it was a a huge amount because the papers actually named him. So this is Mulberry Street. In fact, the houses have gone, haven't they? So he lived at number twenty-two. Uh, I think it's quite clear to see that there's no no houses. I think all these uh, all these buildings have kind of come, certainly after the war. But anyway, this was where John Pizer lived, 22 Mulberry Street, leather apron. <laughs> 